today we're in a small city called Fredericksburg here in uh, Texas. It's about a four hour drive from Houston. It's like pretty much all countryside coming here. Pretty cool though. So I don't really know much about this city. All I know is that it was, um, it's like a little German city, hence the name Fredericksburg. And yeah, the Germans settled here sometime in the 1800s. So yeah, we're just gonna check it out and see what's here. I really don't know what's here at all. So the place we're at now is called Main Street and it's just basically one huge street of just hundreds and hundreds of shops. It seems like that's what that's the main thing that's here, just stores. So many like clothes stores, boutiques, jewelry. There's a few breweries as well, because like the, the beer here is pretty big, the German beer, right? And also there's a lot of wineries because Fredericksburg has the vineyards, so that's one of the main attractions here as well. And yeah, later on I think we'll probably try like some of the beer, maybe some of the wine here, because that'll be cool. So we are now going to the chocolate store. Carol wants to try out some chocolates to buy. So let's see if they have some tasty stuff. We make them on the premise. Thank you. Yeah, we also box them. So we bought this chocolate here from Fredericksburg Winery. Yeah, it's basically chocolate with the wine inside. Super tasty. cool that you probably noticed by now is that the architecture of this place still has all like the old traditional like German and Texan buildings so yeah that just adds like a really nice vibe to the place as well and right now we're going to head to a museum yeah just to hopefully find a bit more out about this place more than 170 years ago after decades of wars no freedom to pursue their dreams they were living for a way out. We've just arrived in the in the museum now and right at the start we had this like introduction like video and it was really good it told the story of how the Germans arrived here so yeah it was telling the story of how Germany was like just a complete mess for people to live in in the early 1800s so a lot of them came here because they thought it was like the promised land but then they ended up being like stranded on the coast of Texas no food, no work, nothing and then it just um, it told you about with time how they how they found this place like one guy I guess was riding around on his horse and then he saw this big piece of land which is now Fredericksburg that he thought his people could farm on and then yeah the German the Germans that were stranded came here in like 1846 and that's how Fredericksburg was born So the building we're in now is actually still in the same location that it was built so this museum has like a mixture of yeah, it's a mixture of buildings that were here and buildings that were moved here from other locations. But yeah, you're still seeing all the yeah all the equipment and all the objects that they would use during that time.
We've pretty much finished exploring uh, the main street on Fredericksburg and now we're going to head to a place called Enchanted Rock. I've known about this place for a long time and since Fredericksburg is only like 30 minutes away, I decided that we're going to go there today. have arrived we're going to do the the summit trail which is the only trail that goes all the way to the top apparently you have like 360 views from the top so we decided to do that one and I think it's about like 1823 feet high so should be pretty tiring because yeah it's boiling at the moment it's like over the 80s Fahrenheit over the 30s Celsius so yeah let's see how it goes Carol's leading the way. <laughs> All right. It's like the the rocks never ending <laughs> to get to the top. But look at the views. Looking pretty amazing so far. We've made it at the top now. It didn't actually take 50 minutes, it took more like uh, 20 minutes. I guess we're hardcore or something. That's what happens when you have Carol leading the way. <laughs> Do it more than half the time. But yeah, it's definitely a pretty strange formation. Just a big rock in the middle of all this like, kind of like forest. Pretty cool views though around here. Check it out. All the way around, just nothing. Middle of nowhere. So I'm probably gonna take the drone out now to see, yeah, how this thing looks properly <laughs> from from afar. Should be pretty cool. I got some pretty good drone shots. It's extremely windy right now, but yeah, the drone's a beast. I, I think it handled it pretty well. And right now we're just gonna wait for the sunset here. I've heard it's supposed to have a really nice sunset. Yeah, we're just gonna chill out here, relax a bit, and wait for that. good idea to spend the the sunset here it was so peaceful like seriously and I actually used the moment to kind of do a formal proposal to Carol because we had like planned all the wedding and stuff right so I never really proposed like I wanted to so I'll show you the ring here <laughs> so that's the ring here it's my um, my grandmother's ring from England so it's like 65 years old she wanted me to give it to to Carol so you happy about that yes. <laughs> yeah so that was really good and now we're we're going to head back to the like the city center of Fredericksburg probably go to like a German restaurant hopefully have some German beers and then that should be it
finished eating at one of the local restaurants. It was like a lo local brewing company, so I had the local beer as well, so that was nice. And now we're gonna head back to the motel and call it a night. So, it's been a great day. We did quite a, we ended up doing quite a lot of stuff actually. A lot more than I was expecting to. I didn't think we'd do this much. And yeah, it's just a good place to come. We didn't do everything that this place has to offer. Like I said before, one of the big things is the wineries. And I'd like to do that if we come another time. I was driving around, so I couldn't really do that at all. But yeah, I'll definitely do that next time. And you already know, please like the video, comment also, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you next time.